in our previous session we discussed about like you know we got some conclusions what are those conclusions in tc machines my flux density waveform should be flat topped okay compulsorily okay why if you have flat topped flux density output voltage across the brushes will be more okay so let us think of how to make flux density waveform flat topped okay so for example if i think of normal pole for example this is n pole this is s pole okay so if you try to draw flux density from here it will increase the flux density almost constant here flat top and it will reduce okay so flux density at the center of the pole is going to be flat top <coughs> okay now let us see for example if i can increase the pole shoe area for example if i can increase pole shoe area pole shoe area if i think of rotor like this okay so from here to here for example if you think of flux density from here flux density is going to be almost flat top constant and after that it will come like this okay because pole shoe area is more actually in some of the textbooks they said that like you know pole shoe area should be more because this particular actually on this particular pole shoe we have to keep the windings are not yes okay so to hold the windings field windings not to fall we have to increase the pole shoe they say which is actually funny okay anyway pole shoe area should be increased such that out of total pole arc for example what is pole arc from here to here is pole arc for example this is going to be n pole and this is going to be s pole okay so this is what is pole arc here pole arc is nothing but pole pitch this is going to be pole pitch okay so pole pitch what is pole arc for example from here to here pole is there okay so out of total total pole pitch area if i can increase the pole show pole show coverage automatically from here to here flux density waveform can be flat top okay now coming to the point like you know if we increase if we increase like you know polar to pole pitch ratio what will happen okay basically if i increase polar to pole pitch area pole pitch area flat topness will be increased okay for example if i think of okay if i have two poles if i have like this pole okay so if i have like this pole like this pole okay then pole arc by pole pitch ratio is increased or not yes so if pole arc by pole pitch ratio is increased flat topness is going to be increased or not yes but flat topness is increased but still like you know pole leakage will be more for example rather than flux going from here to here here to here flux can go directly like this no without going through the armature without going through the armature flux can go like this so this is called as pole leakage pole leakage okay so if i can reduce pole we have to reduce pole leakage because this particular flux will not go through armature okay so in order to reduce pole leakage pole arc to pole pitch ratio should be less okay in the sense my pole arc coverage out of total pole uh, pole pitch area should be less but at the same time in order to increase flat topness okay so in order to increase flat topness of the pole pole arc to pole pitch ratio should be increased that's why if i think of total pole pitch is here pole arc is here okay so pole arc to pole pitch ratio this is going to be pole arc and this is going to be pole pitch 180 degrees electrical okay so pole arc to pole pitch ratio should not be more than 70 to 75 percent okay so maximum pole arc to pole pitch ratio will maintain 70 to 75 percent because if you cross this pole leakage will come but if you try to reduce this flat topness will be reduced okay